actor and sometimes co-star Kurt Russell. Was it always like this? Every time with you is like the first time. Our unit, our family unit, is, is so homogenized, in a way, with what we do that um, because he is an actor and successful and because I'm an actress and successful, it makes it an easier proposition, in a sense. Um, up until now, I have not had that kind of union. So it, it's, it, yes, we have a very private life. And our lives are very simple, believe it or not. To, you know, as simple as they can be, given the set of circumstances. We live very quietly, and we spend a lot of time with the children. And our values are very similar that way. But I no longer have to deny, uh, in, in a sense, what it is that I do. Uh, it's not a threat to Kurt. He's been in the business longer than I have. Hahn has had a series of modest screen successes recently, but nothing like the 1980 blockbuster Private Benjamin. For a boost in her career, she signed a seven-picture deal with Disney Studios, which, under the direction of Michael Eisner, is credited for revitalizing the career of big stars like Bette Midler. Hahn fondly recalls working with Eisner when he was head of Paramount on the film Foul Play. Michael Eisner thought that I was too fat to play the role, which is just an amazing thing, seeing that my entire life I've always tried to put weight on. So I uh, went to, for an interview to Michael Eisner, who at that point was he one of the heads of production at, at Paramount. And uh, he just wanted to really look at me to see if I wasn't too pudgy, and too unattractive. And uh, bless his heart, we always go through this. Every time we have dinner, we, we, re we remember this moment. But he was talking about some silly small talk thing. And I've looked at him and I said, so you thought I was fat, huh? And he turned all shades of red. And it really was, it was a very sweet and honest moment. So will audiences ever get to see the serious side of Goldie Hawn? It's an interesting question because everyone wants to know, when are you really going to get down and do something serious? And I couldn't be doing more serious work.